Welcome to Chessington World of Adventures and we are here for a update for June. As you can see, as we walk in the entrance, this brand new Chessington sign. Welcoming you obviously with the new floor and everything that was entered. And you can hear the Mardi Gras music playing in the background. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna have a little look around the park. We don't really know what to be what we're looking at, to be honest with you, in terms of changes, but we certainly spot them as we go round. One focus will be Scorpion Express, which was due to open in June. It's nearly the end of June now and it's still not open, so we'll go catch that and keep you updated as we go. But welcome in Chesington, glorious summer's day. Let's see what's changed. Now, update from in Mandrill Mayhem while we're here. New lights, we did say it was quite dark when we come last time. However, new lights have been added. I still can't wait to see it at night. I'm hoping these have got different tones as well, but new lights. Now the next stop on our update is here in Jumanji. Why not? We come from the entrance of that beautiful new sign up here in Jumanji. It's the first time we've tried out the QR code. I have to say it worked really, really well. And you saw they put some more lights in the station as well over the stairs. It was quite dark, uh, even during the daylight when we were here last time. They're actually probably the complete opposite. They're probably a little bit too bright, to be honest with you. Hopefully they can sort of adjust those when it gets a little bit quieter in the park. The speakers that are under the um, statue, they've all been enclosed now. There are a few more bins here as well, some themed ones and some non-themed ones. Um, they still probably need a couple more benches, but it's great to see improvements have continued. And obviously all this foliage will continue to grow. Plenty of sound, absolutely plenty of sound kicking around. But yeah, still love, still love the world of Jumanji, absolutely love it. Right, next update is on Ostrich Stampede. And we'll focus on it while we're talking about it. It has been reprogrammed and is on a far, far, far better cycle. Beforehand it just sort of did this and then stopped. You now get a full variety program, pretty much non-stop to be fair, of a bit of everything. And it does feel like it's got quite a lot of power behind it. Actually, ridden that, really, really impressed, really impressed. And you know, I wasn't very happy. I did watch a few of the opening day uh, vlogs from various vloggers saying, you know, SBF, why have the park gone for SBF? They're cheap, they're nasty. Well, actually, we don't have that many uh, park model SBFs in this country to gauge it on. And, you know, I've been keeping an eye on these, uh, on the app and feedback and things, and actually, they've been really well received. And they've been open. You know, I, I think the initial, I think people forget these brand new rides. No matter what the ride is, how bread and butter it is, and arguably a Miami and a, 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 a air frog hopper thing is quite basic in terms of what it is but they're new rides you know they always need some kind of bedding in period particularly with guests going on them and now they've bedded in they've been really really good for the past two three weeks we are only sort of just over a month from when it opened we're not that far into the season so i think they bedded in really nicely uh, i've ridden both today and they're, they're riding really well that in particular is riding brilliant i'll be quite happy if i come across out of the fair riding on that cycle yeah, there's one seat out of action, but other than that, all the seats are also being used. So yeah, what a Jumanji, updates improve, virtual queue, I think it's brilliant. Didn't wait at all. Now, I don't know if these have been added for Mardi Gras, but these have been added all sort of around the, uh, well, really sort of all around, to be fair. I've sort of seen them here, and I've seen them over um, by river rafts as well. A little bit of decoration. Now, we are at Mardi Gras at the moment. As you can see, Carnival is high with all the crews and everything. And the stage had a little bit of a makeover. In fact, the stage is probably looking the best it's looked in a while. But other than that, not a lot to report around this area. But let's go and have a look at Scorpion Express. So here we are down at Scorpion Express. Now this is listed on the website as opening for June 2023 after its um, failure last year and a little bit of a refurbishment. And we did say we'd be coming back. However, I think there's obviously more of a problem with it than expected. Last time we were here, and that was four weeks ago, it was testing, it was definitely going round. Um, it was all together. The train was in the station. Now the train is still on the track, it's actually over the back. Uh, we know that we've been on Croc Drop and have a look. However, the front of the train is once again missing. It's not on the track. It's been completely stripped off down to the metal. So I don't think this will be open for June. I expect the website to be updated very, very shortly and I would be expecting this now to open for the summer holidays in late July, probably another month from now. So I don't know what the problems are. We know it's coming back. We know they've gone through the effort of getting it all back together because there's more than just one motor, obviously there's motors every other car. So other than that, we think it's ready. Right, we're gonna head down to um, Vampire area now and uh, 
uh, check out some upgrades there before heading down to the monkeys on the way out that was being refurbished last time we we're here the monkey walkthrough so we'll see how the progress has developed on that look how good the lighting in here is looking we have all the lamps on we have new spotlights on the trains these star things across the top aren't on and there's no rave going on in Marcel oh it looks really eerie in here especially with the green window oh my god this is the best it's looked in years I love it Silly old owl, doesn't he know? There's no such thing as a Gruffalo. And by the way, there's no red along here either. Maybe I should include that in our update video. I will, I'll include it in there as well. Worth putting in a couple of bits we noted there down in Wildwoods. Vampire, the station lighting is superb. Really superb, a lot darker. I absolutely love it, I really do love it. And on Gruffalo, that annoying red light in that scene has gone, which we put. So we're now gonna head over to the monkey walkthrough and see whether or not that has reopened after refurbishment. Now they didn't hang around with this because this is already refurbished and open. It was fairly derelict last time we came to be fair. Uh, there's wood all over the side, the ropes were down but now we've got definitely fresh ropes, we've got some new gates, we've got some new fencing across as well and it'll stop people sort of straying into the enclosure whilst the monkeys can still go above you. All this has been redone, tidied up a bit, a few stepping stones guessing that's for staff access but didn't take him long actually it's only been a few weeks as we said I think it might be a bit hot though I can't see any monkeys out today but the floor the resin looks like it's been done all the way down as well yeah really impressed really impressed that's quite a quick job the monkey walkthrough is back open So the monkeys are back open, really impressed with that. And of course the flags are up here as well. They weren't up here last time. Obviously this was redone last time we come. And there's one more thing, I'm gonna show you a few shots from the Sea Life, which is again, it was shut for five months, roughly five months uh, for refurbishment. So we're just gonna go in and see whether or not we can spot any differences. There'll be a separate video up if you wanna have a walkthrough of it. And we'll show a couple of clips from there. But I have to say, love this sign. I believe this is new, I don't remember this at all really nice to get sort of it's got dark blue glow in here as you can see with the light in all right amazonia so we can see straight away certainly here that the floor has been redone we've got some new lighting as well on the bridge the bridge still move no movement on the bridge but the floor is definitely redone this was all peeling last time we were here So what have we seen today? Well, we've headed over, we've done a few rides and noticed a few things. Obviously, Scorpion Express isn't ready to open quite yet. And I think it's probably a few more weeks away yet. I'd expect the website to be updated shortly. Well, does Jumanji upgrades uh, uh, continue, including in the rideability of things like Ostrich Stampede, but also in the visibility and the lighting in Mandrill Mayhem. Down at the Vampire, the station is looking, the, the, the brightness in there is the best I've seen it in years. It looks really, really good. And little touches up in the Gruffalo as well, it's just the smoke cloak and the twisting um, when, he, when he's twisting him uh, in, the, in the scene before the lift hill that isn't working. Other than that, actually, it's working far, far better in there, including lighting. As we've walked around the park, we've seen a few bits and pieces uh, which we've picked up on as well and finished at the Sea Life. So yeah, just in World Adventures June, we're heading for summer now. Just the one ride left to open, which is Scorpion Express, and I think it's gonna be a massive, massive summer here at Chesington World of Adventures. Final point, the virtual queue works brilliantly. Arguably, not enough people in it today. Love it, absolutely love it. Still love Mandrel Mayhem. Think it's more comfortable than Swarm, thanks to those restraints not locking. But from an update here from Chesington World Adventures, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please, please, please drop a like. It helps more than you know, and uh, we really, really appreciate it. We'll see you next time.